Are you alright guys? And um, if you're watching this video, you're probably you're probably having the same problem as I did. Um with the the PC X XR emulator or whatever, PS1. Um the problem is that the it, when you try to load the game or ISO it says cannot find C D ROM or something like that. It's it it really annoyed me that the fact that nothing was on YouTube, how to fix it, you comment on videos, no one knew how to do it. And mostly it's from MacBook Pros. Even when I went on Google, you couldn't even find the answers for it. So after about two hours of trying to fix it, I just quit up. So, you know, like you do, like you probably did before this video. Um, but then a few days later, I thought, you know what, I'll give it another shot. And with no help from forums at all, that lot on YouTube, there was no help whatsoever. Sorry about my voice, I've got a bit of a cold. But I... I realised how to fix it. It was purely by chance, and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a dig, and well, it worked. I'll just show you up to. If you haven't already got it installed, um, I suggest going to this guy's video. If it didn't work out the way you planned or anything like that, this is the video that I followed, and it worked perfectly. You get your BIOSes with it, uh, the folders. He tells you where to put it, how to even get it on the latest version of Mac OS, um, all that lot. It's by far the best video that I've seen, and probably the most informed and most important um, the bad thing is it doesn't show you how to fix this problem when you go down to his comments and that it's just no help but well I still recommend his video to anyone anyway down to fix it when you, you whatever folder you have it and I just have it on my desktop you don't have to have it here but I just find it the best place um, when you get this you should have these folders here you shouldn't have that but you should have these two just double click that you should extract it uh, they should get a dot bin folder, a uh, dot bin file. Sorry. Once you have that, you don't. I don't need to. I already have one. But yeah. Once you have that, you can go back to this, the program. Sorry, and then go and run ISO. What happens usually when you run that bit like you're supposed to do? That comes up. That's that's what give me bare ball ache for a while. But yeah, you do this instead. You go to run ISO, then run the bin file. It's a bit glitchy at the start, but once it's running, it's perfectly fine. Once you have your control all that configured, and I have all the settings like I showed you in that video, it works a treat. It'll do a little bit of a glitch now, as you can probably see, and then it resets, glitches, then goes back to the start. Actually, it's restarting the console. I'll just leave it a minute, not going to edit it out. Now it runs perfectly. There we go, it's loaded fully. Running perfectly fine. You have all your sound set up. Um, even my, I'm using the PlayStation 3 controller to play it, but uh, it works perfectly fine. Uh, I've got it in window, but I'm pretty sure you can put it in. Thing. It's a bit glitchy if you do this. Oh, it works perfectly fine. This thing. Anyway. Yeah, so you see it worked really perfectly well. I'm pretty sure it worked for any of the any of the games. Um if you have any problems just put it in the comments, I'll come back to you as quick as possible. Hope you enjoyed the uh, hope you enjoyed the video and good luck.